Welcome to the Mental Health in Black and White channel, where we dissect complex issues into manageable pieces. Today, we're delving into the crucial topic of emotional abuse, exploring five key signs that often go unnoticed but can have lasting effects on your mental well being. So, stay tuned as we navigate this important discussion. Sign number one degrading and belittling. Emotional abuse can be elusive, often occurring over an extended period of time without us even realizing it. One significant indicator is degradation and belittling. Ask yourself, is someone consistently putting you down, especially in front of others? Do they use sarcasm to hurt you? only to dismiss your hurt feelings as oversensitivity when you speak up. Do they frequently make jokes at your expense or negate your feelings? These seemingly minor acts accumulate, eroding your self-esteem and confidence, leaving you humiliated and wounded. Sign number two, dominance and control. The second sign of emotional abuse is dominance and control. This goes beyond typical controlling behavior. It involves someone who belittles you, treating you like a child, and even exerting control over your finances. They undermine your aspirations, making your dreams seem insignificant and foolish. In their eyes, they are superior and you are beneath them. Over time, you might find yourself struggling to make even minor decisions without their input. Having been under their control for so long, you forget how to think independently. Sign number three, accusation and blame. Emotional abusers rarely laugh at themselves and never apologize, deflecting blame onto others even for their own shortcomings. They may magnify your faults while forcing unwarranted apologies from you. These individuals feel they can do no wrong and exhibit a complete absence of self-accountability. Criticism from others is met with extreme defensiveness and emotional outburst. Sign number four, neglect and stonewalling. Neglect is another faucet of emotional abuse, often manifested through stonewalling or the silent treatment. It's when someone freezes you out, withholding affection, attention, or basic needs. This form of abuse is particularly common in parent-child relationships, where a parent may intentionally ice out their child, depriving them of emotional support. This neglect can lead to lasting emotional scars. Sign number five, enmeshment and codependency. The final sign of emotional abuse is enmeshment or codependency. In these unhealthy dynamics, one person fails to recognize your individuality, treating you as an extension of themselves. They may make decisions on your behalf, share personal information without your consent, and disregard your needs and wants. These intrusive behaviors can be challenging to break free from as they erase boundaries and treat you as though your lives are intertwined. If you recognize any of these signs in your life or someone you care about, it's crucial to seek help. Emotional abuse is not something you have to tolerate, especially if you are under 18, report it to a trusted adult or authority figure, as emotional abuse can have severe consequences on your mental health and future relationships. If you're a survivor of emotional abuse, therapy and support are available to help you heal. Remember, this experience does not define you. You can overcome its effects. The more we speak openly about emotional abuse, the faster we can collectively work towards breaking its cycle and supporting survivors on their journey to recovery. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more insightful content. Your comments, feedback, and topic suggestions are always welcome. 
Thank you for joining us, and I'll see you next time as we continue our mission to explore mental health issues in black and white. Bye for now.